everybody and welcome back to the farm got two calves here we trying to wean you can tell they're real they're real wild right this one one of them bottle fed i don't remember which one it was probably this one this is a little bit smaller than this one they're twins and uh we don't know who the who the daddy is it wasn't one of our bulls but uh anyway what i brought you along for as you can tell by the title description is we have finally built us a corral and loading chute for years we loaded out of the hall this barn it's, it's about 12 foot wide there and uh we had a bull we got a bull out here in the pasture that will not load we just use this horse trailer open the gate up and uh yeah, that bull, I don't know if I can see him right off the bat. He's a black one. He might be laying down out there. He, he refused to load. A couple of times we tried to load him and uh, he about run over us. So, ever since we really got this uh, lot uh, re, re fenced a few years ago, I've been wanting to put a catch pen and build a new head gate and all that back here. So we finally just bit the bullet, had to do it to get this bull loaded. Hopefully we'll, <clears throat> hopefully we're gonna load them tomorrow in it. It'll be the first one. <clears throat> so here it is, I'll show you the plans I drew up on it. And we hired somebody to build it. Of course, we already had this old homemade head gate and uh, it's gonna fit between these two posts that bolts through the side. So still gotta put that on. I went and bought this heavy duty bull gate right here. 10 foot heavy, I think it's, it's, it's probably 100 pounds this gate right here is. So uh, it's a lot more heavier than the, the economy gate. And then we had this gate and we actually had two of these and I thought they were the same size, which was five foot, but one of them is slightly less. One's four foot, one was five foot. So we put this one in here to be able to release a cow so what we'll have we'll have a, a diverter gate here i got to build that here in a little bit i may bring you along for that so so we, we run the cow in here it's 10 foot wide about 30 foot long so at the end of this long run here i'd originally plan on having a gate here that would swing and would act like a sweep but Fortunately, if I did that, it would stick way out here and kind of block the path. So what we're going to do is mount this post and just have it swing closed to this. So it will normally be open against the fence. We'll come in, be able to close them up in here. Now they probably will be able to turn around in this area. It's pretty big. Uh, like I said, I had it originally planned for five foot. I don't believe five uh, five foot gate would well I'll go from this post to here though it will it will go from there but i think it hit here so hey, regardless i could have done a little bit different now looking back on it uh, we used power poles we had so we saved money there but the material cost just for the this wood was uh, almost nine hundred dollars and uh, i think uh, labor was a thousand to, to install it so so basically what they're going to do then, and this is 30 inches wide, which is probably a little wider for calves, but uh, for our cows are pretty fat, so they needed a good width. So they'll come out here, and then right here there'll be a diverter gate. So it's either going to be close to here or close to here. And that, they'll either go this way or this way. So this is about 11 foot long right here. Trailer will be backed up right there or we'll go here we'll close them up we'll, we'll have it open we'll run them in there close it behind them and then we'll entice them to get in that head gate when i get it put up or we'll run them this way and close them behind it this way and then entice them to get on the trailer so today i've got to build this gate i'm gonna make it out of wood this is not exactly the same width from here to here or to here to here. This is like 42 inches here and 30 something inches here. So I'm gonna just split the difference and say 39. That won't be quite square, it'll be kind of offset here, but it'll go all the way here. I'll put a two before there that it'll catch against and then of course we'll 
will have a locking some way of locking it closed on both sides so luckily I think on this side I'll be on the other side of this post so I can just the way I'm gonna build this gate it'll have a two before it slides into a slot I'll just slot a piece between the two planks right here or wherever it ends up being I don't want to cut a whole plank but I can cut a notch out of two of them and then same thing over here we'll uh we'll put a two by up where to slam up against and then we'll slot it into that plank so uh other plans is to build this up right here so that when i back the trailer up it'll be a ramp up to the trailer instead of having to jump on the trailer i'll show you what i mean so on this sliding gate you can see it's it's probably a good you know foot off the ground right here to from the ground to the bottom of the trailer so with that gate open back up to the post i'd like for a ramp to be there so they could just walk up now they will have they may have to duck because <laughs> there is a, this bar up here i don't think that will bother them getting between getting between here is going to be the the hardest part for these cows because they're so fat uh but that's the plan right we got to get this uh gotta get this bull loaded tomorrow because next week they're calling for extremely cold weather and it's real muddy out here today it's gonna be real fun backing the truck uh, trailer up and not getting stuck right out in here all right so i know this drawing is pretty crude but what i'm looking at is having uh two before two before a two before and a two before and then having these enough room between these two to have a sliding two before uh, it really ain't got to be that close actually I think I may just split the difference up uh, it's 48 inches so it could go from here to a foot then another foot whatever we want to do and then I'm going to go down the side both sides on both sides and in the middle with a tube of six so I'm going to need six two by six by 48 so i'm gonna cut them i got three uh, eight foot two by six so i'm gonna cut those out on the saw and i'll bring it back all right so now we need uh five two by four by 39 inches all right so now we've got uh all of our basic pieces five 39 inch two by fours and six 48 inch two by sixes we can kind of go ahead and lay them out so what we want to do, we can uh, lay this first one here. And yeah, this table is not, it's not exactly flat, so it's going to be a little bit of flat. Right. We'll basically get it into where we want, and then we'll go ahead and stick these in there. Of course this is going to go flat against the, the bottom of this one. Like you can also get a framing square and square it up and then do the same thing with this board here and then figure out basically where your center is going to be for this one. So basically it's going to look like this on each on this side. Two by 
not quite this long to slide. And we'll put some blocks here and there and here. Well, we won't have to here, but here and there to keep it in place. So instead of boring y'all to death, I'm just going to go ahead and lay this out and screw it down. I'm using two and a half inch screws. It wouldn't be a bad idea once I get the next outside. Well, actually, I'm going to fill these gaps here with two bys, two by fours on uh, both sides, except for where my uh, latch is going to be. And then on this side, before we, before we put the other two by six across here, I'm going to put hinges on this one and this one. It'll be strap hinges. So that'll be covered up with the two by four, uh, two by six there. We have another two by six there and two by six there. So let me get this on. I'll bring it back. We'll go ahead and cut these uh, filler spot pieces and that little piece there. And then we'll be ready to put our straps on and then put the other side on. Should be pretty easy. This thing's going to be heavy though. All right, so once I got everything screwed together, I went ahead and cut out blocks to fit between each of these. Uh, I went ahead and cut this piece here. This is going to be my lock when it goes into the fence. It's going to lock in right there. So I just basically put it even in about six inches. I just eyeballed it. It not really no big deal. I mean, you could really have it all the way to there if you wanted it, you know. Actually, it'd probably be better if you slid it up and it was right there. Come to think of it. That's about that a little short. But anyway, I think it'll work fine like it is. You can reach in here and grab it. So what we're going to do is instead of cutting it like this, like I did these pieces, I'm going to cut these uh, like this. And I'm going to leave them off the edge a little bit where it won't bind up, but it won't let it kick up either. And these, probably want to go ahead and put four in. We're just going to leave about an eighth of an inch. in the center or center more centered actually I can turn it over like that if I wanted to but I think it'll work out right like that. We'll leave it off a little bit here. We've got to line this up. Like that. And then these uh, will go into the, the post and these will sit on set them and these are a little bit tight. I may have had to do a little, a little sanding on that. I think it's a little tight. So no big deal. We'll, we can grind, take a grinder or something and uh, cut these down just a hair. But the right size, they're just a little tight. So I got two of those. And 
fast, it didn't muddy. I got enough carriage bolts. The carriage bolts have a square shoulder. So when they go into here, they'll lock in and it won't turn, it won't allow the bolt to turn. But this will be smooth enough that I can get another plank over the over the top, but well, I don't even have to worry about that. Uh, on this one, I'll probably end up having to grind the end of that bolt off, but on these, I'll have a, a piece of wood going over the top of it, so, and they'd be pretty smooth for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, set, drilled out. I'm going to go ahead and get these on. Alright, to so clear these hinges, I just measured where it was and uh, a flat head screwdriver. Measure where it was, marked it, and I just cut slits in it with my, my little dagger parts skill saw. And then we'll take a uh, flat head screwdriver and we'll break all these out. It ain't got to be, uh, you know, slight exact depth, but this is, uh, if you have a router, a router would probably be a little neater for sure, but I don't have a router up here with me, so this would be the next best thing. Got a little bit right here. Sometimes you just take your hammer and use your uh, flathead screwdriver like a chisel. And just break that mess off. So it ain't got to be perfect. You, just, you want to set as flat as you can, but on this one, I, I was a little bit off. Them straight, so I end up having to cut a little wider piece. Cut them as thin, curved as you can, as you can get. It makes it a lot easier than trying to just cut one big, wide one. So, so real thin, it break real easy, and it break cleaner. shop and get some three inch screws I got down there to finish it up. So maybe you can see it. it. It worked out pretty well I think. It's definitely able to sit flatter. Get it even at the top, even on the sides. Well as you can see we got some curious little cavities down here but I'm thinking this uh Load sheet may be a little wide for cash, but you can always put a couple of, of uh, pallets through here, and they pretty much uh, wouldn't have to be able to turn around. They would struggle right now to turn around. But I got this gate mounted the other day before the rain came. Let me show you what I got here. Uh, the only problem with how I got it mounted is it's more this way than it is this way, so. Uh, yeah, very curious little cavities. Uh, so on this side, it, I got marked right here for where the wood's going. I got to cut this out, and I'm going to put a piece of wood on both sides, or maybe at least on this side, uh, to keep them from, you know, pushing against it this way if they're backing into it. And, uh, over here where it ended up being was right over here on this seam, but I don't want it there because there's a post there. So I backed off and I'll put it right here. Anyway, I got the Ryobi right here getting ready to cut out, cut this out, and uh, then we'll just use this right here to lock in. 
I probably will put a block or something somewhere on the on the side of it here where it won't go too far in or too far this way. <laughs> I think they like this uh, little pin here. Shut the gate and see. Goes in. Oh yeah, that'll work. So that bull, you're gonna pull, push and push. I'm gonna reinforce the back side of this fence. So there'll be a, uh, another two by going down. Mm -hmm. This is actually pushed again. So he'll have to break this two before uh, to get this gate open or tear it off the hinges, which these hinges are very tight barely swings so I don't think I don't think he's gonna be able to tear it off the hinge. And well of course I have to reinforce I'll probably reinforce this one on both sides just because uh, it being so much of that boards out I'd be a little bit worried about it. So swing this gate in this way. Make sure that fits. This is at a pretty good angle, so I had to end up cutting it. Now what I'll have to do is go on the back side and just butt up the uh, up the uh, reinforcement up against this because it's such, at such an angle here, and that's just because this uh, this gate hitting uh, it ain't equal distance between between the post here. So let me back up, you know, see. This is a pretty big area right here. Actually, you know, the bad thing about this area right here is there's enough room for a, a, a cow to turn around in here. So you pretty much have to be right behind them, forcing them to go into either here or here. Now, even with that swung the other way, there's, there's enough room in this little area for the turn. So uh, that's. We're just gonna have to be right behind them, push them in, and lock the gate right behind them. So that's the plan anyway. And now we're gonna go, I'm gonna leave it like that for the time being so I can go around there and uh, I gotta cut a piece of two by. All right, so we can see how much the angle is sticking out. So if we went, if we went right up to the edge of that and put that there, it, it wouldn't really fit that in there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to temporarily screw it here. Then I'm going to go back on the inside and I'm going to screw this away. And then I'm going to come back with a grinder and grind the, the uh, tips off. That, that gives me those two lines here. I'll be able to just go right through there from the back side. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I got a screw here and a screw here so I know that this one's going to be right here. This bit does not hold good. And I can just go right down the line. Put it in order. Or put it together. I'll take these back out when I get done. I don't want anything in here that possibly cause injury. Didn't really want to go good. But go around the other side, get them out, and then I'm going to cut another piece to go on the other side of that. And then over here, I'm just going to have one piece <clears throat> on this side. Well, I, I got my, my face in the sun. I want to apologize that I did not get the video of us loading the bull. This, this worked perfect. It's very easy to back up the trailer to this loading chute. The trailer sits right here, so all I had to do was hook to it, pull up, back straight back to that. That door worked perfect. He backed up into it, it didn't budge. We bought us a hot shot because I knew it was going to have a problem getting him on the trailer. I touched him with that hot shot. He jumped on the trailer like he it was long, his long lost home. So 
that being said we still like a little bit of work to do you gotta uh, put the the uh, head catch on there I know it's a homemade one it's it's not the best but it works or it used to work uh, and I gotta cut down that post right there that post that the gate hooks to so the gate can latch well, other than that that's a 1900 well a little over two thousand dollars all said and done well worth it i wish we'd done it years ago so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video i would rec highly recommend those heavy duty gates like i built uh even though you can see through it it works real good to uh that way you can if you had to you could poke them through it uh, anyway it worked fine and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video Please rate, comment, subscribe, and...